Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? That was so unfortunate. I guess it's my fault for putting them too close, but I didn't think that they would still grab it.
Okay, I can gain a bunch of time back here if I get the trick first try and don't get trolled by the beetles. Okay, that's fine. As long as I don't get trolled now, I should be still okay. Okay. That's good. I was able to just run past them. That's ideal. Now, if only I did the trick first try. <laughs> Alright, now this time I'm not gonna just try being risky and going for fast for no reason. Kidding me? Well, that's fine. I still have to wait for a cycle anyway. Any death in this run is a reset, by the way. Because <laughs> I can't... If I die, I can't use the fairies to skip levels. So it's an immediate reset. And because I skipped crafting the hero's tunic, I take double damage as well. Yo, what's up? It is gaming time. I'm. We'll see if I continue to game or if I crumble. I did get like a 10 second PB earlier, but I beefed like 30 seconds of improvement. I do not want you to be up there. Are you kidding me? It 
It's you. It's a game made using the same engine as A Link Between Worlds. It's very, it's very akin to Four Swords Adventures, and that you're just multiple links going through a bunch of stuff. But unlike that, you only independently control the links. And in this any percent run, we get to utilize a feature because this game was designed with multiplayer in mind. We get to use a feature where we can skip levels by giving up continues. So the any percent is basically only doing one level per dungeon and then skipping the rest. But I only want to do this category to learn how to play the game this way. And then I'm going to move to a category that doesn't skip everything. It's... I played this with some friends back at the beginning of the year. And I say, like a multiplayer game, this was pretty fun. Single player, it is very tough. And the, especially the speedrun is very tough because of how short it is and the fact that your fairies are your continues. If you die at all, you have to reset because you lose a fairy and you can't skip a level. Also, this cutscene, I can't mash through or skip or anything. So I just have to watch this. But it's a fun enough game. I think it gets a bad rap for being considered the worst Zelda game, even though this game still got like 7 out of 10s everywhere. Which I guess also speaks to the quality of the Zelda franchise if a 7 out of 10 is still considered the worst. I think another reason why people don't like this game is, for some reason, Nintendo of America, while localizing this, just put a bunch of memes in the game. wasn't great. The way I wanted to do that level is have two links with hammers just take each side of the map and just split and just keep jumping between whichever link has hasn't swung the hammer. Yeah, the scrolling text is kind of funny.
that was bad. A lot of the run is like effectively swapping between the links and getting things done and I'm still not the greatest at doing that part which is mostly why I still want to I'm still using this uh, not too extreme category to learn things is so I can make less of those very basic mistakes. also kind of bad. I think I did okay there. Still not ideal, but I think I did alright. These final levels are basically just a gauntlet of like how you make use of items. And now we get a cutscene that I can't do anything about. And this cutscenes like this are why the Korean version is used. Is these cutscenes are just like frames faster on Korean than any other language. At least that's what I can tell from what little documentation about this game and its speedrun exists. That was one of the tricky things about learning this is <clears throat> the speedrun.com page has a bunch of incomplete information there, there's no like speedrun discord or anything all the information is just kind of spread out and not in any collective spot they do list a discord you can join to talk to people about glitches but it's mostly a casual like it's one of those servers where it's just people to get together to actually play the game not actually speedrun it and so it's not a very useful server to be in if you're trying to learn the game because most of the people in there aren't speedrunning it. Hmm. 
Well, there there are people who run it. Like this any percent run has like I think 13 people. <clears throat> and the record's like the record is done in like 30 seconds. So, it is not a free roll record, but the category I want to move to, I feel like has more room for potential because opposed to this category which has a bunch of runners, the category I want to move to after I get a better time only has one runner who has only ever done two runs. So I feel like that one definitely has more room for improvement than this one does. I just want to get better to where I feel more confident doing a category that requires more gameplay and better gameplay. I keep... I keep mashing so much that I choose the wrong outfit. But yeah, my goal is I want to get a 24 minute time before I move on, which I think I could do. I want to see what, after this run, I'm going to check to see what my sum of best even is. Because now, all the run is, for like the next minute, is just mashing. Because it's just text boxes. And there's still some skips, mainly one skip I don't do, that could save 16 seconds, about, if I did it. But it is, it's a trick where if I fail it, then I lose more time than I would have ever saved by doing it. And it is only in the second dungeon, so it's not like resetting it over it is a massive deal. It's just an annoyance where if I spend a bunch of time grinding for it, then it would just drive me insane. Plus, not even the second place person on the leaderboard even does the skip, so it's not like I need it to get a 24 minute time. It would certainly help, but it's not needed if the second place doesn't even do it. Once I'm done mashing this text, that guy's getting shot. guy's profile picture was also a Pepe frog. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> 